Okay, uh, now let's go on to question 3 part B. Now question 3 part B shows the circuit, a DC charging and discharging circuit where there is a 10 volt supply here and there is a switch that toggles between two position, position 1 and position 2. Right, so uh, we are asked to calculate the time constant of the circuit when the switch is in terminal one. That means when I, when the switch flips over here, the the effective circuit is this circuit. Okay, and when the switch flips over to the other circuit, that means effectively, the voltage is across the capacitor and it discharges through this circuit. So we are asked to find the time constant for the first circuit and then uh, after the capacitor have reached a steady state that means the 10 volts and the 10 volts here are balanced the switch is changed over to terminal 2 and then there will be a new time constant so we need to calculate the time constant part 3 we are to write the mathematical expression for the voltage across the capacitor and the current current flowing through this resistor for time greater than zero and finally we are asked to sketch the waveform of VC and IR after this switch has been closed all right so let's uh, get ready all right to answer this question um, I have drawn this circuit when the switch is at position one Right, when the switch is at position 1, this is the effective circuit. So the time constant, time constant, tau, is given by the value RC. So this means the resistance, 500 ohm, multiplied by the um, capacitance value, 1000 microfarad. So this gives me a constant of 0 0.5 seconds okay so this is the time constant when the circuit is in terminal uh, terminal one position right uh, similarly for the circuit when it switch over to terminal two the time constant becomes the new tau this is the original tau it's become RC again is equals to 1000 ohm multiplied by 1000 microfarad. That gives me a time constant of 1 second. Okay, so for part 3, Part 3, we want to write the mathematical expression of uh, VCT and IRT after time T. That means when the circuit is discharging. All right, for a discharging circuit, the characteristic of a capacitor discharging is given in the formula E, E uh, exponential T divided by tau, the time constant. Right. In other words, the voltage will decay this way. Huh? So if we put in the value now, the for capacitor discharging, the maximum voltage is the, the voltage of the supply, which is 10 volts. E minus T. Now this time tau is equals to one second, so I don't have to write. So, so this is the expression for VT. Similarly for IRT is E. E minus T voltage divided by the resistance R. That gives me 10 divided by 1000 ohms E minus T ampere. Or you can say 10 E minus T uh, milliamp. Okay, so that's the waveform for the current. Okay, so now if we were to draw this circuit, oh sorry, this is a waveform. Uh, basically, what's happening is that at time t, in how many seconds? Huh? So at time 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. 
But if I were to substitute the time t with all these values, what happened? At time 0, e is just 10 volt. In other words, it starts with 10 volt. Okay? And then uh, one second later, the, the voltage would have dropped to about 3 point something. So somewhere here. And one more second later, it would have dropped to 1.3 something. And then finally, it would have dropped to 0 0.49 and then dropped to 0 0.18. And finally, it's almost there. So if I were to draw the, the, the waveform, it would look something like that. Okay. So this is the VT, the decay voltage waveform. Similarly, for ampere, for current, you will have something the same. Let's say if this is 10 milliamp. Then it would have dropped to about point, point, point three of million. So it would point, and then drop further and further, and finally decay down. So it would look something like this. Right, it won't drop below zero. Huh? Sorry, please remember that. So this will be the IT. Okay, so this is the end of this question. Thank you for listening.